Jordan here, welcoming you to History on the Line. For the longest time, I've been able to share my enjoyment uh, with working with the past uh, through a variety of uh, mediums. Uh, of course, in the old days, not so long ago, what, 15, 20 years ago, uh, there were magazines and newspapers and print journals, but uh, those things quickly evolved and along came blogs and of course now the modern day social media platforms and but currently I'm going to try uh, using a media rich approach what I mean by that is video it is getting easier and easier to do video presentations uh, to edit them the recording equipment is uh, is uh, the recording equipment is, uh, is just easy to use. So uh, uh, I'm going to give it a try, uh, and uh, we'll call it uh, History on the Line. Uh, what I'll do is I'll share short stories about oh, whatever I'm working on. Uh, on the past, uh, uh, things I'm investigating, I'm looking into, I'll, I'll share little stories from time to time. Also, I'll share uh, how to. So if you're interested in getting out and digging into the history of your home or your, your family or cemetery or whatever, I'll, from time to time I'll share practical little tips that will, will help you uh, with, with uh, that. Now you might ask, uh, uh, why history on the line? Well, to kick off our, uh, our, our rich media out, uh, uh, sharing process, I'm down at the old Perryville Railroad Station uh, along the uh, Susquehanna River. And I call it History on the Line because that's where I tend to do most of my work, uh, along the Mason-Dixon line. I, actually, I, do, I work throughout the Mid-Atlantic and sort of, sort of clusters along the Mason-Dixon line. Uh, I get into the small towns and villages and just have a wonderful time uh, digging up uh, the stories of earlier times and putting together narratives. And as I evolve to digital storytelling, I'm sure I'll have a have a great time doing that as well. Uh, but the, my work uh, clusters um, sort of along the Mason-Dixon line. Now, I'll take an expansive view to it in that uh, uh, we'll, we'll include the lands around the waters of the Delaware and the Chesapeake uh, because there's such a regional identity in this area. And so that means you'll see stories sometimes from South New Jersey, uh, certainly nearby Pennsylvania, and who knows, maybe sometimes even Virginia. Well, I'd like to thank you for listening to my uh, brief introduction, and I'll look forward to learning how to use this and getting your feedback too And as I begin to share stories in, in yet another way. Thanks uh, so much for joining me.